Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, we're going to do uh, slopes of a line today. Not going to be a hard assignment. Uh, not a lot of stuff that you don't already know a lot about. All right, so kind of a review of Algebra 1 stuff, but we're going to be using it throughout the rest of this chapter. So that being said, uh, first thing, the slope formula, you know, don't forget y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? The change in the y's over the change in the x's, right? And up, down, left, right, if you had me last year, all right? Don't forget the point slope formula, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Remember these two keys. These are the keys for today. Parallel lines have the same slope, and perpendicular lines, <coughs> excuse me, perpendicular lines have a slope that you flip upside down and negatize. So for example, if the original slope of the line was two-thirds, the slope that's par uh, perpen okay, the slope that's parallel to it would be two-thirds. The slope that's perpendicular to it, so the perpendicular slope would be three halves. You'd flip it upside down and you'd negatize it, right? So negative three halves. Right? So that is what's going on there. Don't forget about that. Alright, so let's just get into this. It's not gonna be a hard lesson. Alright, find the slope of each line. Well, remember, slope is. I won't, I'll only do this on the first one. We'll go faster through the rest, okay? Slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? So I'm going to call this x1, y1, x2, y2. I'm going to do 8 minus 0 over negative 2 minus 0. So we get 8 over negative 2, which is negative 4, right? So the slope is negative 4. Easy. All right, second one. Letter B. I'm going to go a little bit faster now. I'm going to subtract the y's. So I'm going to do negative 5 minus a negative 3, which is plus 3. And then I'm going to do 3 minus a negative 2 is plus 2. So what do I end up with? I think I ended up with negative 2 over 5. So the slope is negative 2 fifths. All right, next one. Uh, yeah, I'll just do it. It doesn't take long. All right. Um, 3 plus 2, all right, because minus a negative 2 over negative 1 minus 1. So we get 5 over negative 2. So the slope is negative 5 halves. All right, next one, a little bit harder. Negative 2 minus a negative 2 is plus 2 over... Um, 6 minus 1, so we end up with 0 over 5. Remember what 0 over 5 is, right? Uh, two things you need to keep in mind. If it's 0 divided by a number, the slope is 0. If it's a number divided by 0, then the slope is undefined. And if you ever forget, just graph the two points, right? If you graph those two points real quick, uh, 1, negative 2, and 6, negative 2, you'll see that these are horizontal. Horizontal lines have a slope of 0, right? Vertical lines have a slope that's undefined. Maybe a third way, let's say, let's just say it was reverse, right? Let's say it was negative 2, 1, and negative 2, 6. Look, they both have the same input, right? They both input a negative 2, but they output different numbers, right? You put a negative 2 in, you get a 1 out. You put a negative 2 in, you get a 6 out. That cannot happen, right? It's not a function. It's undefined, right? So this has a slope of 0, all right? All right. Letter, uh, let's do AB. From this point forward, we're just going to follow the rise to run, right? Because remember, it's up, down, over, left, right. So we're going to go from A to B. So we're going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right 2. So we're going up 6, right 2, all right? which is positive 6 over positive 2, which is a slope of 3. All right, describe it in words. The slope is 3, and the wording is up 3, right 1, or down 3, left 1. All right, EM. EM is a perfectly vertical line, right? And vertical lines are undefined. All right, next one, AE. 
AE is a perfectly horizontal line, and horizontal lines have a slope of 0. All right, EH. EH is here. I like, I like to always go from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, so I'm going to go up 2, right, up 2, and then I'm going to go right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right 5, right? Up is positive, so 2. Right is positive, so 5, so 2 fifths. And that's a slope of up to right 5 or down to left 5. Letter F. Uh, BM. Where is BM? I don't see it. Oh, BM's here, right? Okay, so I'm going down 1, 2. So I'm going down 2 and I'm going right 1, 2, 3, 4, right 4. Well, down's negative, so negative 2. Right is positive, so 4. So that's negative 1 half. So the slope is negative 1 half. And that's down 1, right 2, or up 1, left 2. OK, so let example 3. For each problem in example 2, find the perpendicular slope. OK, well, let's just go through it. Letter A, the original slope. The original slope was 3 over 1. So the perpendicular slope, what would you do? You'd flip it upside down. Here, let's write this. The perpendicular slope would be one-third negatized. Okay? Letter B, undefined. Okay, so undefined means it's vertical. So the slope that's perpendicular to that is horizontal, which would make the slope zero. Letter C, the slope is two-fifths, right? So the original slope was two-fifths. What do we do? To find the perpendicular slope, we flip it upside down and we negatize it. Negative 5 halves. All right, letter D. Oh, we didn't do D, did we? Uh, what is D? Uh, CD. So it's down 1, 2, 3, 4, right 2. Down 4, right 2. Which is negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. So the slope is negative 2. So if the slope was negative 2 over 1, the perpendicular slope would be 1 half. Letter E, if the slope is 0, that means it's horizontal. So a slope would be undefined if it was perpendicular. Okay. Letter F, the slope is negative 1 half, right? The slope is negative 1 half. So the perpendicular slope would be... Uh, flip it upside down as 2 over 1 and negatize it, so just 2. Pretty easy. All right. Number 4, this is where it gets a little bit harder. Determine whether MM and RS are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. All right, graph to verify. I'm not going to graph, but if it does ask you to graph tonight, you're going to have to graph them. Uh, maybe I'll do it on the first one. All right, so let's find the slope of MN, right? Let's find the slope of... I don't know why my pen's having such a hard time writing, but it is. All right. The slope of mn, right? The slope of mn is going to be 4 minus 3 over 2 minus 0, so the slope of 1 half, right? So the slope of this line is 1 half. Let's do the slope of rs. Holy cow, this thing is not writing. rs. Uh, that would be 4 minus 1 over 8 minus 2, so that's 3 6, no, 3, yeah, 3, 6, which is 1 half. The slopes are the same, so these lines are parallel. Okay? Let's do letter B. So let's find the slope of Mn. The slope of Mn is 4 minus 3 over uh, 4 plus 1, so 1 fifth. The slope of Rs is going to be 2 minus 1 over negative 2 minus 3. So 1 over negative 5, so the slope is negative 1 fifth. Now, these, lot, these slopes are not parallel because they're not the exactly the same, right? And they're not perpendicular because if you flip this upside down and negatize it, you don't get 1 fifth. So what are these? These are neither. All right. Uh, let's try one more. We'll, we'll do letter C. So um, MN is...
is going to be 5 minus 3 over 0 plus 1, so 2 over 1, which is 2. And Rs, just going fast here because you should already know how to do this, negative 1 minus 1 over 6 minus 2, so we get negative 2 over 4, which is negative 1 half. Now look at these two slopes. If you took this slope and you flipped it upside down, and you negatized it, you would get this slope. So what does that mean? That they're perpendicular. Okay? And I'm not going to do letter D because it's the same idea. Okay? Alright, example 5. Graph a line that satisfies each condition. It has a slope of 4 and passes through 6, 2. Alright, so don't forget. Don't forget the point-slope formula. Y minus Y1 equals M times x minus x1, right? That's the slope, right? The slope is this, it's 4, and this is x1 and this is y1. So all we have to really do is just plug in the numbers, right? So y minus 2 equals 4 times x minus 6. Distribute the 4, we get y minus 2 equals 4x minus 24. If you're struggling with this, you can go back and watch the videos from on Math Ninja about point slope formula, okay? But this is, should just be a review. Plus 2, plus 2, so we get y equals 4x minus 22. Okay? I could graph this if I wanted. I would graph 6, 2 first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2. So I'd graph that point first, and I'd follow the slope, which is up 4, right 1, or down 4, left 1. So that's the graph, right? All right. Graph a line that passes through 8, 5 and is perpendicular to AG. So we first have to find the slope of AG. Right? The slope of AG, you got to do that first, is negative 2 minus 6 over negative 1 plus 5, right? So we get negative 8 over 4, which is negative 2. So the perpendicular slope would be negative one half, right? Because we want them to be perpendicular. So we're going to we're going to use a slope of negative one half, and we're going to use the point eight five, right? So this is my x one y one. So we're just going to plug it into the formula y minus y one equals m times x minus x one, right? Plug it in y minus five equals negative one half. Remember we're using the perpendicular slope times x minus 8. So y minus 5 equals negative 1 half x plus 4. Bring the 5 over. So we get so we get y equals negative 1 half x and we added 5 so plus 9. Alright, I'm going to graph this. I'm going to graph 8, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the point there. And the slope is negative 1 half, so that's down 1, left 2. Down 1, left 2. Down 1, left 2. So it's looking like this. All right. That's all there really is to that. Um, I'm not going to do letter C because it's best more of the same. Um, like I said, if you are struggling, if you are struggling, I would uh, get on Math Ninja, and I would find get on either Math Ninja or get on YouTube and Google MathNinja.org slash or MathNinja.org space point slope, and you'll find some videos on that. I'm sure. Let's see. So if you wanna, if you want more information on point slope, you can go here, right? MathNinja.org point slope. You can see a very long video on that. So there you go. Uh, point slope formula right there, right? That's what I would be watching, that 15-minute video. All right. All right. Well, good luck with that. And uh, if you need help, let me know. Bye.